Due to the fierce display of might shown by Zhao Yun and Zhang Fei, Liu Bei was able to safely escape to Jiangsha. Having defeated Liu Bei, Cao Cao confidently turned his army towards Jiangdong. Sensing Cao Cao's intentions, Zhuge Liang went and proposed an alliance to Sun Quan. For Sun Quan, there was little merit in joining forces with Liu Bei's meager army. But Liu Bei was the only one in the land willing to oppose the might of Cao Cao. Uncertain of how to proceed, Sun Quan was approached by Zhuge Liang. He explained that Liu Bei would continue fighting even if Sun Quan were to surrender. For he would not give up until he had made his dream come true, no matter what the cost. Those words pierced the heroic Sun Quan's heart. My lord, we cannot bow before a scoundrel like Cao Cao. But we cannot hope to match the might of his army. We must surrender. Cao Cao's demand for our surrender. Liu Bei's request for an alliance. What would my father have done? Or my brother? Surrender. Alliance. Both options are... reasonable, I think. But... I have faith in Wu. Faith in you all! Therefore, I must think of our future! Fight! We will join forces with Liu Bei and defeat Cao Cao! From now on, any who suggest surrender will share in this desk's fate! He had chosen the path of resistance. To anyone else, it surely seemed like an incredibly rash decision. For the difference between the two armies' strength was as immense as the ocean was wide. And to make matters worse, Liu Bei had only brought the most meager of reinforcements. However, Sun Xuan believed wholeheartedly in his decision. For he had come to it with the assistance of his friends. And his allies would support him no matter what the cost. Anticipating the great battle ahead, they searched for any chance they might have at victory. Liu Bei's strategist, Zhuge Liang, worked together with Zhou Yu. And the two of them came up with a brilliant plan to be executed at the Battle of Cherbi. So you are Master Zhuge Liang, the famed strategist. Master Zhou Yu, all is as I outlined in the scroll I sent you. Oh, so formal. We are to talk of fighting together. We must be more open. Isn't that right, my lord? <laughs> exactly right, Lu Su. I read your scroll. A proposal that will certainly be of benefit to both yourselves and to us. Blunt Cao Cao's momentum and buy us some time. Advantageous to us all. But that is not the entire story. Unlike Wu, Master Liu Bei lacks a land which he can call his own. Perhaps obtaining such a foothold 
is your true goal. Come now. We cannot expect all secrets to be shared. Can we not turn a blind eye? <laughs> well, this alliance would certainly be good for Wu. The battle shall take place at Chirbi. We shall use our intellect and courage to sink Cao Cao's great fleet. Now, we can only hope things go as planned. But do you trust them, Lu Su? Yes. Although, Zhuge Liang is an impossible man to read entirely. Then I shall believe also in you and in your faith in Yu Bei. Still, to wait for the wind to turn, then attack with fire from the water. A bold gamble indeed. Hey, you two! Huh? Has the War Council finished already? You were conferring with the forces of Liu Bei, right? Correct. Although, they only sent their strategist, Zhuge Liang. Oh, really? Selfish. Lian Shu, I ask that you stay by my side. If I ever lose my way again, I'll need you with me. It would be my pleasure. Hey, you there! I know you've been doing well, but that doesn't mean you can just, like, walk around oh and... You fought like a vicious tiger out there! With fighting like that, we're sure to win! Don't worry, we'll be right there helping you out every time! <laughs> well, all right. We'll do it together. You men just follow me. You are right. In battle, a man must follow the commands that he is given. And yet, look there, Ling Tong. They are all ready to go. He's inspiring everyone. It's as it was before Lord Sun Tse died. Should we not see this and learn from it? I wonder if we should let him be for a while. Guan Yu, share your thoughts with me. From what you have seen of him, what kind of man is Cao Cao? He's deep, intelligent, strong. He has very strong principles. He is worthy of being called a hero and is a man who will fight for his dream. He judges every man by his abilities, nothing more. He's fair, yet his feelings don't sway him. Hence, he has no caring for the people. No caring for the people? Strange. I fear I could not share the land with such a man. It is truly a shame. Well, Guan Yu, you're back. It is good to see you again. I wield my blade for the benefit of all. It is my duty to clear this land of chaos. 
Let us go forward, my brother. We'll teach those who have chosen to stray from the path. Do I owe you my thanks again? You convinced my brother it's time to fight. Ah, Lady Shang Zhang. I have not seen you since Wu. I have heard what happened to Master Tse. You have my condolences. I will fight with Wu against Cao Cao. I have a dream and I must further it. I believe it was Master Quan who decided we must all share the same purpose for the moment. You have dreams. You want to find a meaning in life. You know, in a strange kind of way, you remind me of Brother Tse. Remind you? Don't worry about it. My lord, we are now at the start. We have allied with Wu and stand opposed to Cao Cao. From this point on, I shall make use of all my skills so that we may remove all uncertainty from your dream and make it reality. Yes, I will depend on you. We can have no success without your helping us. Then the time has come. You must begin to head to the west. West? My lord will not find his victory at Qi Bi. I have already sent Master Zhang Fei and Master Zhao Yun to grasp the victory that awaits my lord in the west. An excellent plan. Then I will travel west. I shall take my leave. My lord, do not ever let yourself forget your true purpose. It is almost time. We approach the final battle. Concerning Wu and Liu Bei, their armies are much too small to concern me. We must be wary, however, of their cunning. Oh my! Could those be the words of the man who controls this majestic fleet? Or are you someone else? Pride can lead one astray, Zhang He. The ships don't go to battle. It is the ones who are in command. It all depends on their skill. Even the beauty that you seek requires men to color the scene as if they were background in your painting, is it not? You are right. But of course. Ah! In battle I am a paragon of beauty like no other! Watch and bear witness! My grace and beauty shall be engraved in the memories of all who oppose us! Something about this fight is troubling. What, I can't say. I can only wait and see. Hey you, put that over there. I think you can take Zhao Cao out with that little rock? Whenever I hear those bells, it infuriates me. Throwing individual stones accomplishes nothing. However, if you collect many and use them together, then that ship is sinkable. Like it or not, Gan Ning is one of us now. Put aside the past. Well, I'll work with him for now. I guess I'll go attack them all at their boats. A less experienced soldier should stay and protect the rear. Hey, give it a break. We have no time to indulge your pathetic dreams of grandeur. This guy here really kills me. He just joined us and he thinks he's the boss. Huh. You worried about my skill? I've never lost a fight and I've started a lot, you know. Hey, you want to commit suicide, go ahead. 
All right. Done now. Go and show everyone what you're capable of doing. We have several men who are waiting down by the river for you. Good luck in the fight. Yeah, just leave it all to me. Zhou Yu is a perceptive man. I wonder how much he sees of the truth behind this alliance. But, for now, this is the only path we can take. We must claim victory here first, before all else.